Hi guys, this is day two on my wind turbine. It's finally up. See her running now. You probably can't hear it, but there's absolutely no sound out of it. And it is connected to a, a battery bank as well. I'll try and zoom in for it. Oh, that's my finger. That's how quiet it is. You probably hear kids in the background. There's a school over there. But you can't hear that. Look at my little meter here. How much that is I'm not moving. Now she's picking up a little bit of pace there now. I was trying to do a video of me putting it together, but I had a lend of a of a high star cherry picker, whatever you want to call it. And I was in a rush to finish it. So sorry about that. So it's nice. It's morning here. Just gonna turn here real quick. Just climbing my my roof. Now it might be a little bit windy up here. Just to get a better view of it here. Steadier for you know. Oh. No. It's kind of the blade swept area of it. Do you notice there's no vibrations? It's not shaking in the wind, not rattling. It's dead steady. And look where it just tracks. And it never loses speed, look. I don't know if it looks the same on on video, but it's not. If you look at the tail, there's a slight bend on the tail, see it? It's very hard to see it. Show you now. Look straight there now, look, see? See where the boom, this boom's off to the left. This arm. And the tail at the very back, it'll open up in high winds and she'll shoot around. I had a run in there the other day. And I can't, it's not even, it's not even that windy for it to, 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 for the tail fin to turn. You can just see it moving now. And the tower doesn't even shake. Or anything. This is dead steady. That's a better view of it now. It's not connected to a grid tie, as I was saying, it's connected to a battery. As soon as you get it connected to a 48 volt grid tie, I give you proper readings because now it's only connected to the battery bank and it's not really a proper readings because the batteries are full, so it's not really a true reading. I'll show you true readings when I get uh, the, Midnight, the Midnight Classic, I think I'm getting the 48 volt one for the grid tie. If anyone knows anything about them, if they're any good, let me know because I've never had a, um, a classic, a midnight classic uh, grid tie inverter or anything from mid midnight classics. So, so I'll stay quiet for a minute to see can you hear it even moving. That speed there now, it's roughly producing about 200 watts. I had it on my meter downstairs, oh, downstairs, sorry, down the shed. That's about 200 watts at that speed. Look at the meter down here. I know the video is shit, but I'm zooming in on my old phone here.
I think the wind speed is about I think it's like 10 kilometers an hour. There you can see it now. Look, you see it, look how barely it's moving. Look at the blades. I'm not speeding up there now again. But you can see it going really slow. It's literally about 10 k's, 15 k's at the most. About 8, 10 miles an hour. Well, you can see the anometer down the bottom there. That's my I brought in my heist. Let's see it there. So that's it guys, this is another little video to show you what it's doing. And when I get more equipment I'll show you proper power readings in just low winds. And that's all I can do for you now. I'll test the meter again now. I'm just picking up a bit of pace there now. Just want to keep stressing how much it attracts the wind. And it doesn't slow down. Look at the blades, they don't slow down. They keep tracking the wind. There's no vibration, no shaking, no rattle, no banging. The tower in wobbling all around the place like other other bits you do you see on for sale you know and I have 10 square cable coming down from the the motor itself and then it goes down to four square cable it's just a temporary setup just to see was everything working right was it producing power and all that so all the cable has to be replaced and then go into a proper grid tie so it's, it's not running like efficiently, like it's very inefficient now. Look at the cables, the cables are way too small at the, at the end. I don't know if you can see the blue cable there. See, ah, uh, you can't see it. But the big cable, see the three cables sort of in the middle there. There are three ten squares. I don't know what that is in American wire gauge, but uh, underneath it then is four squares, so it's very, very uh, inefficient for carrying current. That's just starting to slow down. You can see the meter there in the bottom left or the bottom middle of the screen. Look, it's barely moving. And the blades are just turning. Like, Let's see if we should pick up again. I don't know where she goes. I don't know if you can hear it in on the phone, the microphone. It's literally no wind here now, like, and it's still turning. Well, that's it guys, I will talk to you on the next video. Oh, if anyone knows anything about the Midnight Classics, well, someone, uh, I don't know if I said that already, but uh, let me know about them, and uh, how do you rate them, and how do you, what do you think of them, are they any good, and all that. Right, thanks.